Okay, welcome. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about resource 7. Um, as with resource 2, there's a lot of detail in here to be worked through step by step. So I'm not going to go through all the steps in detail, but I just wanted to, to uh, sort of give an overview of what we're doing here. So in order to get the C development tool for MyRio working um, for you, you need to get an environment, development environment set up. So uh, on your own laptop, what I would like you to do is go through all these steps and they'll allow you to have it, have it uh, set up for you. So uh, some of these steps, A, B, and C, um, parts A, B, and C can be uh, performed without connecting your laptop to one of the MyRios in the lab. Uh, parts D, E, and F require that MyRio connection. So I'm going to keep in mind, you can start this on your laptop, but then you got to go into the lab to finish. So uh, first off, you got to set up your software environment. The um, instructions for now are all in Windows. So if you have Windows, great. If you have uh, Mac, then um, you can use uh, um, the virtual, a virtual machine, or if you have Linux, you can use a virtual machine. Um, you have to install Java, and then you have to install the uh, Linux real-time Eclipse edition, um, and so we've got some hyperlinks here, so that's a hyperlink, these are hyperlinks, so go ahead and download those and um, follow the instructions for getting this stuff set up. Uh, adding the compiler to the path is an, uh, sort of a, an annoying little thing, that nuance that you have to go through. Um, so I, I encourage you to you know, follow those steps in detail to get the, the path set up correctly. Um, then move over to Eclipse. Once you've got it all installed, you can open up Eclipse and you can open up these different perspectives. I talked about the debug perspective before, uh, with the C++, C++ perspective as well. Uh, in resource two, and then um, there's the re the remote systems explorer, which is the third perspective. So you'll see those when you have um, your Eclipse set up. Uh, once that once you've opened these uh, different perspectives, they'll show up. So there's the C C++ perspective. There's the remote systems explorer, which is the selected one in this uh, screenshot. And there's the debug. Those are the three that we'll need. So you can, you can enable those using the instructions here so that you can have them available to you um, with just a, a click. Uh, once you are in the Remote Systems Explorer, you can set up a connection to the MyRio, which um, will be required once you actually connect the MyRio. Um, and uh, you'll also be bringing in these projects. So you'll see here that um, the screenshot has my lab zero, my lab one, two, three, etc., to eight, and these are uh, where you're going to be writing your code for the class. So once you have this set up um, and you've imported the uh, the projects that instructions explain how to do above, um, you'll see these, and you'll be able to open up. Uh, in this case, we have main.c opened up from the my hello world uh, program and uh, you'll see the, the main.c file that you can edit here. So this is the little editor and a little console, and then this is a project explorer that shows you where the files are and all that. So um, go ahead and follow all these instructions. Don't skip over anything. Um, uh, and then once you get to this part, you have to be in the, in the lab, connected to a MyRio, connect to the target, um, sometimes there's this authentication thing. Um, in most cases, we will be leaving the password blank if it asks you for a password in the MyRio. Um, sometimes it'll disconnect and you have to go back into the remote uh, project or the remote system explorer and, and reconnect to the MyRio. So it'll tell you if it's disconnected um, and then you can go in and reconnect. So this sort of goes through and shows you how to run the My Hello World project, which is effectively what you're also going to be doing for your Lab Zero uh, exercise. 
but I just wanted to, to give you guys a, a, a little uh, run through of how to do the, the hello world. Um, this shows introduces you how to do the debugger as well on your my hello world uh, project and um, the the uh, debugger um, frame here uh, shows stopped at a breakpoint what you'll be seeing. So this is in the debug perspective and um, you'll get to see that <laughs> little message popped up. I'm not supposed to. Alright, so that is that is that. Um, go through this in detail. I mean I just gave you guys a little overview to get you started on it, but um, um, this is what we're going to be doing the rest of the term. So this is like a, a, a good place to start for you to start digging in to the uh, lab work. All right, that's all I've got.